Hey YouTube, I just did this video once and I don't know what happened to it. I'm on a YouTube app videoing it, so. But anyway, there's my new target stand. I want to do a quickie review on it. Um, I have no idea what the brand name is, but this thing is really heavy duty. You need one by threes of the fern strips for uprights. I'll go in here, I'll show you a picture here in a minute on the box. Um, it's adjustable from 18 to 24 inches. Another 18 to 24 inches. Um, this thing has really heavy duty angle locker. Nicely welded, powder coated, and all. Um, I don't have it. You know, this is the back side of it. I need, probably need to tighten that down more. Alright, sorry about that. There's the back of it. It's got holes in it for um, on all four corners for tent stakes if you want to stake it down. Um, so this is the bottom side of it. I'm really liking this. The other target stands I had were plastic and people were shooting them, including me. So, I mean, they were having to be replaced. Sometimes they were having to be replaced with just one time shooting them. Um, so here's a box. Let me pull it closer. Um, heavy duty angle iron, powder coated. Here's a picture of the adjustment as well as the one buys upright you know these things are only a dollar a piece of Lowe's so pictures there's a good picture there's another better picture right here a little bit better to show you what it's gonna look like set up so zip down here here really not a whole lot on the back except the same thing that's on the front so and a good picture of the uprights you know, I'm not going to care if somebody shoots these things. They're only a buck a piece. You know, I'll go buy six or eight of them for replacements, cut them down the size I want them. And, uh, then the only thing I've got to do is get, it shows binder clips. Those really large binder clips. I need to get some of those. Those, should, those won't be expensive if they do get shot. But there might be something else I might have to replace. But it's going to be the easiest way to set this up. Especially if I'm out of the range by myself. So. But anyway, I am impressed. Brand name GPS. I found them on Amazon. Um, let me see. GPS metal target stand. That's the only thing I know to tell you to search for if you get interested. Adjustable. So, I don't. Uh, well, here we go. Show your website here. You can stop the video and write it down if you want. GPS Wild About Shooting is a registered trademark, blah, blah, blah. GoOutdoorsProducts.com. Uh, I'll put that in the uh, description below, so you can just click on it and go there if you're interested. But I found them on, um, at Amazon, and I think they were $29.99. But for a heavy-duty target stand that may last for years... <clears throat> instead of the plastic ones I've been using that may last for years or may not it just depends on if somebody misses the target in between them in between our, uh, our axe on top because it's just it just snaps into down here and then the target's up here and then there's a piece that goes into the ground there's a stake on it and if somebody hits that thing hits a plastic stand it's no good I mean I've gone through one plastic stand one session out of the range like you know two three hours or whatever because somebody missed it or I missed the target and shot too low so I'm not going to care if they shoot these things those things are cheap okay well anyway I'm mumbling rambling so I really like this I highly recommend it so far I don't see any problem with it it's really heavy duty um, I think it's a good buy so, I'm going to be using them probably by the end of this week. Probably Thursday, Friday. I'll be out at the range. Okay. I'll give you an update out there if I can. Uh, it just depends on how many people are out there and how much shooting there is going on. Because you're probably not going to be able to hear me very well over the video. So, I uh, might wind up having to do an update once I get home when it's a little quieter. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.